Okay guys, last video we learn how to find the area to the left of z-score. This video we learn how to find the area to the right of z-score. So we need a little extra information actually on this one. Remember, area to the left, you just go to the z-table and get the area. Area to the right is 1 minus area to the left of z. So this is something we have to note it down. Well, if you don't remember that, still you can survive on it actually. So I'm going to show you actually how to do that. So first take a look here what is given down here okay so z score clearly as you see down here is given okay so this is the shaded part so what is the area on this side here okay and given this this is the z score so this is the location so location is what is below the mean well as you see that should be down here i want i would say this is most probably 50 percent okay so below the mean this is the definitely the mean below the mean 1.2 standard deviation away from the mean okay 1.2 standard deviation below the mean so basically this is called the location this particular line down here okay so we are looking area to the shaded part so all we do we just go to the z table negative 1.20 so well, let's take a look here this is a positive i'm going to go to the negative negative side here you go that's the negative oops sorry let me get the colorful one uh, that's the negative one so negative again one more time so what is this one is all about negative 1.20 so negative 1.2 what is that no we gotta go more negative 1.2 clearly as you see down here okay so negative 1.2 oh well let me actually erase this one down here so i don't want this mess here okay so negative 1.20 Look at this, that's the zero. Look, I can draw, drag it down. That's it down here. Okay. And this is negative one point two. So clearly this is the answer we have. Okay. So point one one five one. Here you go. So the area I get from the Z table, remember, because it was given a Z, so we go to the Z table, and clearly I get area is equal to zero. 0.1151 now let me ask you let's have some in, you know um uh, intuition like if you look into the shaded far isn't it more than 50 percent so does it make sense to you does it make sense no way it cannot be this side this is most likely on the left side here so whenever you go to the z table it give me give us the answer on the left side remember that by default z table is built area to the left of z table so what we have to do we just have to find the area on the right is we because area under the normal curve is total area under the normal curve is one so we subtract this area to the left from the one so we say one minus 0 0.1151 and that would give us 0 0.8849 that's the area what it is this face is basically that shaded fit it makes sense it's 88 percent there is another technique guys if you know you're finding area to the left whatever the sign is given you just look at the opposite this is given as a negative so you look into the positive side and you will be fine your answer so 1.20 if i go to the positive z score look at this here let me show you 1.20 1.20 look 0.8849 that's basically exactly what we had you know we had look let me show you one more time here so this is what we had this is what we have okay look 0 0.8849 0 0.8849 so it's really depends on you if you remember how to subtract from one you get the answer or you don't want to subtract from one you just go to the opposite detail and you get your answer okay let's continue so we're gonna have another one down here okay so actually i need a little bit of space here okay so what we can do to get the answer of here well you know let's have a habit can i draw it here yes obviously i can draw it here this is a normal curve 
and of course this line is not never going to go you know below the horizontal axis it okay so is location 2.89 so remember this is 0 1 2 3 0 0.89 most probably i refer this one here this is greater than so we shade to the right side remember the shading is coming to like that if it is greater we shade to the right of the z location so 2.89 if it is if it is left we shade to the left side so well then we go to the z table so go to the z table and get the area look into here if, remember i just told you if because you area to the right you know it's going to be smaller area so you go to the opposite table negative 2.89 you're going to get your answer or you can say one minus you can basically say one minus one minus area from the z table so what is the area from z table so 2.89 here you go 2.89 2.89 so 2.8 here you go okay 2.8 and nine look so 2.8 and all the way in under 0 0.09 that is 0 0.9981 99.81 percentage 99.81 percentage so your answer well it's not the answer it's 0 0.9981 and then you will get your answer which is 0 0.00 one nine look it's like one percent and that face is here and that makes sense actually okay this is for area to the right remember we have to know that we have to subtract from one or you go to the opposite z table it's up to you okay let's take a look another one word problem so again this is same issue so the overhead reach distance of adult female are normally distributed with a mean of 200 centimeter so i'll look at this here mean is given mean is given standard deviation is given find the percentage so well how do we find the percentage let's take a look here find the percentage that randomly selected distance is greater than one nine 8.5 centimeters so still we are working on greater than you know what i'm going to go down here yeah so i need some space and of course i'm going to need more space here okay all right so i have all this information again this is the one down here i want to show you here okay all right so that should be the mean in this case is 200 and of course given as 198.5 centimeter that's the x value 198.50 so mean is 200 standard deviation is 7.8 you know i'm assuming we are going a little bit down here i'm just you know assuming here so 198.5 well it may be closer actually so clearly my point is here this is not a normal standard curve this is non-standard so we have to convert things into normal okay we have to convert things into z score so we need something zero one two negative one negative two negative three we need something like that okay so we're going to convert into z score here so let's take a look here can we actually convert this one into z score so z is equal to x minus the mean over standard deviation we have done so many of them so x in this case is remember this is the x this is greater than so that's the x 198.5 zero minus 200 over 
and if I do this little math, okay, it should give me negative 10.19. So that is the z-score. That is the z-score. Well, I want to actually make sure we understand this one here. You use a little calculator. Any calculator you want, it should give you that, okay? Now, that is the z-score. The location is below the mean 0.19 standard deviation. So, uh, I'm going to actually locate it. So, this is 0.1. Most probably is going to be down here, okay? Negative 0.19, okay? And, of course, I need a vertical line here. Remember, that is my 50%. That is my 50%. Okay. So, while question is, am I looking to the right side or left side? Clearly, this is right side. So, we're looking something to the right side. So, we're going to shade everything to the right. Okay. I'm going to shade everything to the right. Or I can use this even. Okay. I'm looking for area to the left. Sorry, to area to the right. My apology, area to the right. Okay, so that's to the right side we're looking for. So now we're gonna go to the z table. Now we are allowed to go to the z table. So that is basically negative point one nine. So we're gonna look into the z table, which is negative z table. Here you go, negative one zero point. So let's down here, zero point one zero point one. And 9 should be the one all the way at the end, clearly, as you see, guys. So it's 42.4247. So, well, I think you already know that is the area you get from the Z table, okay? The area you get from the Z table, which is 0.4. 247 that cannot be your answer this is less than 50 percent so most probably this is this side but question is asking area to this side here okay so well what do we do we just basically subtract we get area well we say area is equal to 1 minus 0 0.4247 and that would give us 5753 of course point and since we're looking for percentage, percentage, question is asking for percentage, so we're going to do 57.53%. And that is the answer. That's how we should actually ask or answer this kind of question. So they said, well, clearly I want to make sure I show you here the said percentage. So that's why you have to go down and convert into percentage. Okay. So I hope you understand how to find the area to the right of Z score and given all three scenario, okay, with the shaded portion, without shaded portion, just Z score to the right and also the application problem and all three OA is given, you know how to find the area to the right. Thank you very much.